Hello. Holy cow, you're still here. I'm still Eric. You're still here. This mug still has no whiskey in it. I'm still with Pranos are unlimited, at least until that mug does get some whiskey in it. Uh, we're going to talk today about the remote DAC. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kendra already has a video about the remote DAC. Well, that's cool, but, you know, Kendra went off to do her own thing, and I don't think that Kendra for, forever and ever wants to be known as the girl who did Brenda Lazar's remote DAC video. Now I'm going to be the girl who does Brenda Lazar's remote DAC video. I know I'm not as pretty or as charming, but I have glasses. So maybe you can just pretend. I don't know. Use your imagination. It's got to be vivid anyway if you're here. Fine, all sorts of hopes and ends. So... Purpose of this video is to walk you through how to set up and use and or enable the remote DAC and how to connect and some other just sort of useful information about it. Now, the remote DAC is important because anyone can, if they can RDP into the server, can use the direct administrative connection. The beauty of the remote DAC is that if for some reason you can't remote in, you can't RDP in or BPN or whatever other method you use to connect to the server, you can use the remote DAC from a different computer and you can get in. It is a single port, it's a single thread, very low memory, reserved connection to SQL Server. This is not for you to goof off on your SQL Server with. This is not to make sure your index rebuilds every, run every night. This is for emergencies, something like if you uh, run into thread pool weights or resource semaphore weights and you can't connect any other way, you need to get in and start looking at what's wrong. The remote DAC is always there and always open, even if it's not enabled. It has to be ready just in case you do. Like I said, remote access matters a lot because, you know, if you're, if you're stuck outside of your server and you can't get in, you, you don't have a way to physically get on the box so you can use a regular DAC, then it's really necessary to have a remote DAC. So the easiest way to check to see if it's enabled is to... Uh, you just select from sys.configurations where the name equals remote admin connections. You can see right off the bat, the value in use here is zero. It has a minimum of zero and a maximum of one. So you don't even have too many choices there. Uh, it is not an advanced option. So you don't have to run SP configure to turn on it to, to uh, show uh, advanced options here first. You can just run SP configure for remote administrative connections, and you see here that I ran the reconfigure statement so it's solved. And now, if you run this, you'll see the value of use is one. Now, the way to connect to the remote DAC, you don't want to do it in Object Explorer. You want to do it with your query. So we're going to take our query and we're going to go and change the connection. I've already done this to make sure it works. So why don't it look too, stupid, too much stupider in front of you on video? So if I didn't have the remote DAC enabled, this would eventually just time up. With it enabled on my really slow, crappy CTP VM, it will eventually connect. I'll get, I get this error message every time, but it's lying to me. Because down here, where it counts, I have the little admin prefix on my connection. So I know that I'm in using the remote DAC. Now that I'm in, I can get in and I can run something like SP Blitz who and I can see what's running. I can run that a whole bunch of times. Nothing's running on here now. I know it's a bit anticlimactic, but that's just an example. Now, if I go over to this other window that also has SP Blitz who and it's ready to run just in case, and I go and I try to change my connection, I also try to get this to connect to the admin connection. It's going to hang out for a little while and then it's going to yell at me. See? Connection was successfully established, but then an error occurred. <gasps> Pre-log and handshake. Oh my goodness, what's going on? What happened? One admin at a time. You can't have multiple people in here. If we go and we look at the error log, try to get rid of that embarrassing stuff from the last video. If we go and look at the error log, we'll see some errors, but we'll see some messages about what went on in there. Uh, expand, expand, expand. Oh, computer. There we go. Error logs, current. You can see the server log. You can probably see all the free stuff that I did in here before, which is lots of fun. Uh, Shut up on the wrong screen. So here we have this first window. 
disappear. Cannot connect because the maximum number of one dedicated administrator connections already exists. Now you see this error message in here a few times. Uh, I would imagine I think that's IntelliSense connecting. Uh, IntelliSense uh, when you connect uh, via the remote DAC, IntelliSense is like, oh, me too, and then IntelliSense can't connect. So you get some other error messages around there. Keep in mind that the DAC does use port fourteen thirty four if it's available. This can vary depending on your configuration and if you use named instances and all that other good stuff. The SQL Server error log way down at the beginning, I should have kept that open, uh, will show you uh, the port that you use when it starts up. So what you need to do is what I just did. Everything in this window, it's very easy. Uh, enable the remote DAC. We'll first check and see if it's enabled. If it isn't, then enable it. It's a one step, one query. You don't have to, again, you don't have to show the administrative connections. Always remember to disconnect because Someone else might need to get in there and do something, and you can't be sitting there hogging it. Uh, and make sure that everyone in your organization is aware of how to use it, practice using it. Maybe, you know, have everyone sit around and say, okay, if you, there's ever an emergency, this is how you go about fixing it. This is how you go about triaging it. Get in, you run this through a procedure, and it will tell you all the horrible things that are happening on your server. If you would like more information about the old remote DAC, head over to brentlizard.com slash go slash capital D-A-C, DAC, and uh, there'll be all sorts of cool information there. Thanks for watching.